What's going on, y'all? Rap Critic here, and this was a Patreon-voted episode. And if you'd like to vote on what song I review next, hit up that link below at patreon.com slash rapcritic. And oh man, it's time for yet another hypersexual <laughs> pound town anthem about sex and banging and lube and... <sighs> you know, alright, can I be honest with you ladies? I, I'm, I'm really not feeling this, and I can't, can we just cuddle? No, no, it's nothing against you, but look, I, I can't lie. I, I gotta just come out and say it. You're just not doing it for me like you used to. Because, okay, you, you got Cardi B and Megan's new song, Bongos. And sure, comparisons to WAP are gonna be inevitable, especially with something as instantly classic as that was. But uh, this especially feels like a drop in quality happening here. Bong, 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 bong. Bonk, bonk. Just starting with this basic sample work. Like, sure, it's not the worst thing to have a one-shot repeating sample, but it already feels like a step down from the commanding drill sergeant sample in WAP. It feels like we're regressing back to that cheap late 2000s Bangladesh production style. You know, where that guy kept just pounding away at one short, loud vocal clip in a desperate attempt to strike that Lil Wayne a Millie Lightning twice? I don't care where you from. Better beat this shit like a drum. But okay, it drum seems to be the motif for the song, so that's the point. It's just a strong, basic pound rhythm to emulate that raw sexual power. Unfortunately though, the, the basic driving production isn't enough to compensate for the fact that things just aren't hitting at the same level as their previous collab. Starting first of all with the catchy chorus, which I can't really point to because I, I, I'm not really sure where it is. Nigga, eat this ass like a plum. This pussy tight like a nun. Like, you'd think it'd be that line because it opens things up, but that full rhyme doesn't come back. And when part of it does, it feels like it's in the middle of Cardi's verse. That's your nigga, he is both off. Pussy tight like a nun. Kinda hunted up with my thumb. So it comes off more like just a passing line than anything. Bitch, I look like money. You could print my face on a dollar. Or was that the hook? Well, it is the most definitive sounding line as a sing-along part, but that doesn't sound like the hook of a song called Bongos that's supposed to be about beating drums as a metaphor for sex. In fact, that line doesn't strike any type of sexy tone at all. Seriously, it's like sand slipping through your fingers trying to find any lines that repeat in a predictable way enough to sing along to it. And I'd give it props for the creativity in that way if it didn't feel so unsatisfying of a listening experience. Hell, I'd even appreciate the formlessness of it if the lines were hitting hard enough, but things are kind of lagging in that department too. Because it's like, okay, here comes Cardi back in the saddle to show these bitches how to rap. Every time I turn around, a bitch pissed off. Little dusty assholes need a lip brush. Okay, not sure what lint brush was supposed to rhyme with, but I'm all right. And the motif for this track seems to be about drums, but they barely bring it up, save for a couple of lines. My back shots sound like bongo. I ain't scared to admit I'm a freak home. Like, I will say, I do like this title drop that almost feels satisfying as a hook of the song moment. In fact, I'll even give Megan props that she really does show up to rhyme when her parts come in. Ass sit like a stallion. I'll leave one of my little ponies. These hoes camped out in the comments. Always talking like they know me. Hey. Pretty solid rhyme scheme, yeah? Is the type of thing I'd like to give her credit for, but unfortunately, Cardi just used this rhyme right before she said it. Don't be talking shit like you know me. I ride dick like a pony. And I think they were trying to do it like a handing off the rhyme thing that would also serve as like a mini callback to what she said, but in execution, it it just comes off like recycling a rhyme we just heard. Cause we as an audience know you had to hear that the know me and pony rhyme repeats, and actually, yeah, the second take of this line was better. So why did you feel the need to keep that first one? It, it just feels like sloppy craftsmanship. And it sucks to have to say that because it's not a complete wash. There are actually some dope lines in here. Big bitches in the black truck packed in. Eat whoever in my way, Miss Pac Man. Wait, 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 wait. Host pop pills, but I'm the one they can't take. But things really peter out by the time we get to the end. Sit together, get the door on my door, my put a couple cribs on my own, I'm an owner. Like, oh, you bought cribs on your own, so you're an owner? That, 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 that's the wordplay you're going out on? That, that, that's nothing. Well, overall, I give this one a, a three and a half out of five. It's okay, and certainly has a couple banger lines in there, but by the time you get to the end, things don't feel like they've reached the same Olympian heights of sexiness that we've gotten on their previous collab. There's just one too many lines that are either lacking in that really raunchy creativity, or they're just filler lines that don't build on the sexual mood of what the song should be going for. And I'm too lazy to look up if I've said it before, but I'll definitely say it again. If you're gonna make a sex song, don't skimp on the nasty. Well, that's my take on it, but let's kick it over to the Patreon What You Think section, where I ask patrons their feelings on the songs I'm gonna review, and if I like it, I'll include it. Life is Strange says, Pretty good song, even though it's more or less WAP Part 2. This proves Cardi B is in fact not an industry plant like Kanye claimed. Uh, yeah, I guess that Kanye guy's probably not the most reliable source for information on things. Well, that's the episode. Leave a like if you like because it helps, leave a comment if you have something to say because it helps even more, and hit the subscribe button because that's what helps the most. And if you want to make movie, music, or live stream requests, you always know you can hit that link below at ko-fi.com slash rapcritic. So check out all those links below to support the show, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.